record here, share the screen, this one, share, okay. We are going to the very la last part, which is um, uh, short in any case. And this, is, uh, this regards the estimation of the errors. How do we can estimate the error in, uh, in the case we, we do some uh, extrapolation? This is actually not um, a peculiarity of Kriging, can be used in any, in any other process of interpolation. Uh, the idea is the following. maybe it's too small here, um, that to estimate the error, we just uh, assume that we have here a one, two, three, N data sets. First, we exclude the first and we do the cridging on the other uh, Ns minus one. Then we exclude the second and the third and then the N data set. For any of the experiment, of the N experiment that we do here, we, we, have, we use the point that we exclude as a control point. And we can go and calculate the error between the estimated value on that point and the values that was actually measured at that point. So we can do the difference if the difference is over different sets of data, for instance, in different time steps. We can do a statistics, and uh, we can calculate the, uh, the mean average error. This is called the leave one out, uh, leave one out method. Uh, actually, we can apply this method for any type of interpolation. And uh, what is the result? The result is that we we can uh, we have a error point error, for instance, in this case, in temperature. Uh, in different point at the stations. And we see how this error varies in space. Uh, this information can, sometimes can be enough, but uh, we, we maybe want, uh, want to have a field of uh, errors. In this case, we can take the error and interpolate again, using Kriging again, actually, uh, the errors and see spatially how this error uh, varies and we can have an estimate of the error, which can be really interesting. So um, this is also the same process. We, here we apply uh, um, the local ordinary cridging and the Bessel semi-variogram mod models. And uh, we have the error actually over, over, over the prediction of, of the rainfall. And uh, you see that uh, in, in any case, the error is not homogeneously distributed. We have uh, uh, larger, uh, larger balls are, uh, are uh, larger errors. So this procedure is quite interesting at the end. And we can have information on both on the measure and the error that we, that we have. And I think we can have finished here for this case.